part two of the day. We're here in Chandler, Arizona at Wolf Rap. I just want to introduce everybody to Haley. Hi. Newest member of Chupacabra, Wes. Wes. You may have seen Wes on the Glamis video, a couple, couple videos. <laughs> Everyone knows Wes who's into off-road. And uh, we're here at Wolf because Wes has a turbo and uh, now we have a turbo triplet. So yeah. let's check out Wes's new car. Just got wrapped, Wes. What's your first impression? Wolf did an amazing job. There's so many fine details that we probably won't even be able to see on the camera, but the logo just pops. I mean, you can see the topographical lines that they put inside the digicam. The till is not too dark. It's perfect. So Which is super hard, by the way. Yeah. I only, don't, don't start a business with a teal logo. It's incredibly difficult <laughs> to match the teal. Correct. And, yeah, and then we did the headliner. Instead of doing the top of the roof, we did the headliner with the logo and the digi. It looks really sick. It's super sick. Uh, I think it's cool that each of the car has their own personalities. We have our own personalities. Sure. Let's not want to have a, be a fun company. We're small. You know, we want to have a presence to be professional. But uh, Wes had the 2020, which is a cool color to start off with. Yeah, I mean, people won't realize that this started off as the ghost gray with red. Um, and we had a little incident, so we tore it down, um, got everything powder coated, took the red off of it. Uh, decided to go the teal and gray. Uh, Cageworks hooked it up really well with the with the the cage. They were actually able to uh, custom make this color, which they're selling now. Um, it matches the front fascia, um, and the gray is just. I mean, I when players came out of this gray, I just love the gray. I love the gray from the beginning. It's just one of those colors that can go with anything. And I like it better than my gray for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's that ghost gray. And you know, overall, like we did the wheels here and got them two-toned uh, with the method inlay and then the black dish. And then of uh, course he painted the hubs to look extra clean. Yeah, I had so, to yeah. be a little extra. No rusty hubs like us. Yeah, just to make it look that much better. Um, no, I went with some simple triple X black carbon seats. They, they're really comfortable. I've had these in my other car and I really like them. Um, well, let's talk about red for a second because Wes is a running Rebel fan. That's where I went to college. He loved the red. We were talking about how do we integrate red and teal. Yeah. Um, but you know, getting rid of the red suspension and seats to get it all blacked out, so we had a blank canvas. Yeah. I mean, I thought it for a while we were gonna try to go red with teal and try to match it, which I think we would have been able to make it work. Some people have made it work, but at the end of the day, I was just like, you know, it's not that big of a deal to pop it off. I had the. <laughs> I had a shop to work out of, so I was able to pop it all up, get all the things out that needed to come out in order to get it baked and get it back on. I'm really happy that we did that because it makes it to where it doesn't clash at all and just makes the wrap look amazing. I mean, we've saw this is the first five minutes that we've seen this wrap and super happy. Can be couldn't be happier with what what they came up with. And that's the thing about wraps. It's like you never know. Like you get these renderings, you don't know what's going to happen and if the colors are going to be perfect or whatever. And we went back and forth and changed a few things, but overall, I'm super excited with it being outside and how it looks and couldn't be happier. And this car turned out amazing without the wrap. I'd say you have black doors, you have cognito yeah. doors. So, had you not done a wrap, would you say you'd got the gray powder coated? So you have a nice, clean, singular color. Uh, you know, I I thought about it because obviously the doors being being black, but I thought that the doors contrasted really well with the suspension and with the wheels. Um, you could easily have gotten the doors wrapped the gray, but it kind of looked really good the way it was, which I'm sure you guys will see. We'll post pictures of both before and after. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. It doesn't really matter now because this is what it is now, and this is, I'm really happy with what it is. And, I mean... Going with Nick, and Nick had a really cool idea of doing the digicam, and you know I gave Nick a lot of insight on on this because um, Nick's really stylish when it comes to things, so I trusted him, and it turned out great. Looks so good with these Toyos. Yeah, the Toyo tires, they they they're really you know people think they're really beefy and stuff, but you can see the flex in these tires. I know it's a warm day, but they're very very grippy tires. Um, wear really well, and yeah, I'm just really stoked to everything that came out, how the car came out, and. Uh, obviously at the Baja Deed, you know, light bar, which we were actually able to use the first time last week on a night ride where it was really dark in the forest, and man, I, we could use it to light up two cars. The car in front of you wouldn't need a light. These things are so bright. Um, Pretty so. cool. This has a black hood normally, right? This is a black hood? Um, actually, what happened was I end up, uh, one of the things broke on my red hood, oh, and okay. I, when I reordered it, I got a black hood. So. That's right. So yeah, it was just black and gray all the way through, kind of like a stormtrooper kind of thing. Not that I'm a Star Wars guy, but, but yeah. So 
All the suspension was re-powder coated uh, black. Um, cage works for the tire wheels. Carrier. Cage works rear tire carrier. I'm telling you guys this too. I mean, I love this style. You want to get to your cooler. Any type of ride, you're going to be grabbing your cooler every time you stop. Yeah. It's the way to roll, right? And Cage Works, you know, they make two different two different models. This is the lower model, so you can kind of see. On my previous car, I had the higher model, which you can run one of the storage container boxes, the bigger boxes, and it closes right over the top of it. No problem. Uh, we went with the little lower one this time just to switch it up and make it a little bit different. Um, it's got some communications in it. Uh, PCI uh, intercom, race radio. Um, wired in um, and yeah it's real simple went with some um, PCI Parker pumper yep Air got pumper. the pumper which if you guys don't have one of these and you have a wife that really likes to ride this is gonna be a godsend you get some, get her a helmet get her these it really helps out on the dusty days when you're on the trails and really makes it more enjoyable almost as good as my windshield almost as good as the windshield which could be coming but we haven't decided yet all right Haley what do you think I think it looks awesome I'm a fan of the ghost gray, so I love it. It looks really good. The style master, Andrew, what do you think? <laughs> it looks really good. I still think the blue one looks better though. <laughs> <laughs> At all, hey, you guys let us know which one ever gets the most likes on Instagram, right? That's going to be there. Owen? Looks amazing. Couldn't be better. Yeah, really, really good. I'm happy. The, the teal is a little bit lighter than the, the wrap. A nice integration of teal. I think so. If it would have been the same color till as the as the logo, it would have washed out. It would have washed out. Mm -hmm. It would have washed out. So we wanted the camo. We wanted the right amount of camo, right? Not not too overwhelming. Yeah, because a couple of the renderings we thought it was a little light and it wasn't enough. Um, we did a one where it was fading in and out, but I thought that just darkened up the grays just a little bit. The till was perfect, and yeah, I, I, I couldn't be happier. I love how they cover the dash too. Yeah, they you go know? all the way up and cover everything up and nice make and it really clean. clean. And then, yeah, nothing clashes with the black, so. So yeah, I really dig in the headliner though. Like, I really think that's really sick. Yeah, it's dope. It's really You won up us on that one, for sure. For sure. Well, Andrew had a sticker on his. I don't know if we've shown it on the video, but then Andrew's got a nice a blue dome, light, right? Yeah, two and blue you, dome. And then the Troop logo really glows, so. But he just wanted to take, he basically took the top and said, hey, we'll put it on the bottom. And then we might do a, a troop sticker on top for like our drone shots and stuff. Well, speaking of tall guys, you're tall, your son's tall, your wife's tall. I mean, how, how's the cage works? Cage, Wes, you've owned another car for quite a while with the same yeah, cage. Yeah, so when I bought my you? first cage works super shorty, I was a little worried about that. And then I was talking with Danny, the owner, and he, he basically reassured me that I'd have plenty of clearance. I love it. I love the little bit of radius. I'm not a big, huge radius guy, but I hate the tabletop look unless you're going to run a, a roof rack. If you're going to run a roof rack, it makes sense. But with the cage work super shorty, it's just enough bend. I've sat in the back. I've sat in the front and fit perfectly. You don't have to worry about the clearances. Plus, you can rest assured that these cages are strong. They're built correctly with the geometry they're not just some joe blow that decided to make some bends here and bends there they're actually safe and probably the best value on the market especially because you can do the weld together kit i agree you can either buy them fully welded together powder coated in you know tabs and everything or you can get it sent to your house as a kit and if you own a welder and you have a little bit of skill you can put a cage together in a matter of a couple hours so gotta find really your local easy. powder coater yeah, exactly and you can do that so um I gave Danny this one, the first one I did, We I had Buddy welded up and it worked out great, but it's nice to be able to just get it, door tabs, everything is welded on. You tell him what light bar you're getting, he makes the adjustment, he does it. Anything you want, the rear tabs, I knew I wanted three. 40 inch Baja D fits yeah. in here perfect. Exactly, that's what these tabs were made for. Um, so they go the extra mile, if you tell them what, what you need, they can get it done for you. So it's really easy to do stuff like that. Yeah, I had a cage works on my last two-seat turbo that I had, uh, super shorty as well. I think it was one of the best two-seat two -seat cages that were out on the market. Right. Uh, and then if Wes does want to buy the windshield, bolts right up. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, For a reasonable price, right? Uh, exactly. Very reasonable price. You can get cage works and they will bolt, you have a windshield that bolts right on. And if it's a hot day or a day you don't want the windshield, it comes right off. So it's, it makes it very, very easy to have a windshield with these cages. Yeah. Well, I'm excited yeah. for you, man. Thanks for repping yeah. the company. It's going to look yeah, amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to get it out there and let everybody see it. Wes is based in Vegas, but he's a, he's everywhere. He's at the races. He's at Glamis, Baja. This car is going to be all over the place. So now we got my car in Phoenix, Andrew in uh, El Centro, Wes in, uh, in Vegas. We kind of got the whole Southwest almost covered. Let me see a new uh, ride command update on the dash. Let's 
so you can set it up custom and so uh, you can put whatever gauges you want here and then you can recreate your own Polaris now allows you you can change the settings of it to where it changes the format so you can get even more temperatures and more things free update right super Dude. easy yep super easy took about i don't know five minutes download plug it into your usb go in punch it out boom and i did the maps and the new update for the right command Five more maps in it, more trails. Yeah, just because they're constantly updating, so at least players, you know, is going through and making sure that all the maps are updated. It's a great app for free, dude. Can't beat it. Can't beat it for free. Can't beat it. We're working using like the Onyx map. We're gonna play around with that. We've got Lead Nav. Do you use Lead Nav for racing? Uh, no, we don't use Lead Nav. We use just the the Lowrance. But Lead Nav for like pre-run or anything like that. The cool thing about the Lowrance system now is all your live GPSs, because now we'll have the satellite version. So it basically does the same thing as lead nav, which is crazy. So it's really getting, you know, instead of just being fish finders, like they've always been called, now they're starting to see that the money it, for off-road is there and people use it for off-road. So it's really cool. That was like uh, the knock with Lorenza, right? They're only investing in the fishing yeah, more so than yeah, off-road exactly. these so last few years. Yeah, so they're supposed to be, what I heard rumors, and it's been a while, but what I've heard is they're gonna develop more symbols and things like that. They're more for the off-road version, you know, um, but I haven't seen that yet, but I mean, yeah, it's definitely come a long ways. All right, guys, we got a long day still ahead. We're going to get these all since they're looking pretty. I'll set up for a photo shoot later on, so we'll check with you guys here in a bit. All right, Wes, we got the car out. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy. Razor guys. <laughs> so, Wes, you had a couple hours to check out the car. You kind of went through some of the specifics. I want to know a little bit more. Um, went back and forth about which wheels, the zero offset methods. Toyos, I know you put a couple hundred miles on them last weekend. What are your thoughts on that? You know, Cognito doors, like how is everything fit and finished after you've had a good weekend on last weekend? All right, yeah, perfect. I mean, starting off with the wheel and tire combo. Um, I've known the brand method for a long time. A lot of people uh, run them. Um, I went with the zero offset because I wanted to keep it just narrow enough to where it wouldn't, if I bought a trailer, it wouldn't overextend left or right. Also, some of the trails that I ride in like Southern Utah, uh, they can be narrower trails and they really limit it to like 72. So I wanted to be a true 72 wide. As far as the Toyo tires go, um, this is my first experience running them on, on one of my own personal cars. And I can't say that, the, I mean, the durability is amazing. Um, we did about 300 miles last week and you can look at them right now. They were cleaned up and they look brand spanking new. Like nothing had even happened to them. They're very grippy. They're more, they're off of like the NT mold. If those of you that are familiar with the truck tire, um, but it's a little softer compound and you know Toyo doesn't um, they don't uh, skinch off on money when it comes to designing a tire they always design really 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 good tires and when they jumped into the side-by-side -side game I knew that I wanted to try the Toyo tires out these are about the same weight as the stock tires did the, does the car feel the same as it feel pep peppy or less peppy and that yeah for sure Nick like it being a, a heavier tire when it comes to like aftermarket tires when you compare it to the tensors or a couple other brands it's a little bit heavier tire um but it is the same weight as the stock tires that come on the coyotes um i feel that it's a little bit more durable i think the lugs are a little bit closer together it can get a little bit slipperier or a higher psi on slicker roads and things like that where you slip and slide a little bit but overall it's, it's a great tire and once you get to the feel of how the tire works and where it grips and where it does you can really maneuver the car around and it's really 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 fun um, a lot of so. you guys ask me questions about the offset of my wheels. So we both have the 401Rs, West has zero. My car with my tenders, I'm like 78 wide. So it'd be fun to run them back to back and see if we can feel. I know a lot of people talk about the geometry. This is obviously the better way to go. Um, I don't know how much we can feel. I remember when I had an older car with four threes, my older turbo, yeah. it was slower, it was lazier, put more strain on the wheel bearings and such. Yeah, you, you hear that. But I mean, if you, if you think like that, you're gonna be concerned all the time. I mean, we're pushing these 2000 pound vehicles around corners at high speeds and hitting things and whatever. And it's possible you're gonna have those failures, but uh, I just wanted a really strong wheel. I wanted to keep it at 72 for the width only. I mean, your your wheels look amazing. The offset, everything looks amazing. Yeah, like was... But for my application, what would be, it was benefited me the best and my family was to go with the zero offset. But I mean, the wheel's strong. Either one, you know, we know guys that race both this one and your wheel, and they're just they're just a bulletproof wheel. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the wrap, we knew the idea was to wrap it, and then that became difficult because doors. Doors are expensive. Yes. The stock Polaris doors, they're not the best looking, but they freaking work. 
Yep. They, they seal up, they're fine, they're inexpensive, the hinge doesn't rattle, but you know you wanted to go something better, so like, take, take us through what your options were. You got yeah, Cognitos so, and how you like in the Cognitos. Yeah, so my budget was a little bit higher when it came to doors. I had a little bit extra money to spend on the doors. So um, I went with the Cognito doors. Um, a close friend of mine runs the Cognito cage and Cognito doors, and I've really liked the way that they closed, the way that they felt. Also the fact that the doors in the rear open up uh, normal style. Um, and they don't have the suicide style in the rear. I really like that. It's easier to get in and out, especially for bigger people like myself. Um, also, anybody who knows Cognito, it is a pricier door, and they're, most of their products are a little bit pricier, but I, I can see the, the detail in the engineering and the way that it is designed um, with like, you know, there's no play in this door at all. You know, the rattle is very, very minimal. You're gonna get that over time, I get it, but overall the geometry everything and then the way that it closes up you can see how it closes right into the stock gaps now these these hinges were welded on by cage works and these are cognito doors so that also makes it look the because cog or cage works can get their hinges perfect but then cognito when they say that it'll mount to your hinges it will I know there's other doors i did a lot of research a lot of research on the other doors because there's doors that you are looked at motor armors yes. that look really clean yeah motor armors new. was the, that was my second pick the only reason i couldn't go with them is because they were too far out it was going to take an extra 30 days to get a set of motor armors and that's a new door that came out which i was really impressed with them um the only downside of this door that i can see right now is just um how i'm going to manufacture to put some door bags in um we've all obviously talked about that we're gonna got some ideas to do that but um, that was the only thing that I didn't like. Once it got all bolted up, I was amazed. I mean, they seal up really well. We were on really dusty trails. You get a little dust through the seams, but I mean, if you're going out to do this sport with, because you don't want to get dusty, you're in the wrong sport, so. I'm really glad you went with a solid door. It obviously makes the car look a hundred times better, more of a sand car look. For sure. It's almost, I don't want to say it's not worth it to wrap the Polaris doors, but it's not all it could be, especially you know, how it's all tied together now. It looks incredible. Yeah. Yeah, you know, at Chupacabra, we talk a lot about potentially getting into this market, higher end full door. It's so hard because all these vehicles, Can-Am, Polaris 2C, 4C, they're not square from the factory. So it's a lot of money to spend. Uh, my doors are nice, my Madigans, they are starting to sag a little. I run with my arm on the side all the time. We can work on it, but you know, it's challenging. Customer spending that kind of dough, your expectations much higher. Correct. So it's, I'm a little nervous to get into the market. All right, Wes, so moving on to the back of the car. Got some new whips. Our boys, 50, Andrew and the gang, 5150, make amazing products. How you like them so far? Man, they're, they're amazing. I'm so excited to get these. Um, they come ready to go. I mean, it was I've come with a wiring harness. I wired it straight up to the front, plugged it in. You have your Bluetooth, you know, remote control on your phone. Thousands of colors. And not only that, but they're beefy. They're really beefy. And instead of being your normal where you slide in and a clip goes through or other ways where you bolt them in, these things are just magnetic. They slide right out of these cups when you release these, when, when you unhook the cord. And they're just, it's just amazing how nice these things are. They're thick. I think they're gonna be awesome out of the dunes. And not only that, they're bright. They're super bright. Um, you notice here, it's pretty bright. This is half brightness right now of these things. So people can see you for a long ways away. Yeah, Andrew and I have had ours for a while. I took mine on that trip if you guys have been following the channel in Southern Utah. And those trees outside of uh, uh, Coral Pink are brutal on whips. Oh yeah. And no yeah. issues. They're barely higher than the car. You've got to run them, but you're in the dunes, you're out of the dunes all day. And yeah. uh, it's good to have some tough whips. So my flag's barely made it. Well, it's good. We got the turbo triplets. It's time for another Baja trip. We did a Baja trip back in 2017. Now we got yeah, the same sure. car, same spare parts if we ever had any issues. But honestly, we haven't really had many issues. No, I mean, these Over the cars years. are amazing. I mean, you know, I chose the Polaris and you know, I really like the creature comforts of the electronic shocks and the ride command and uh, using the ride command last week, it was amazing uh, up in Southern Utah, up in the Duck Creek area. We just went and kept going and the second car behind me, we just radio behind, you know, left here, right here. We didn't even have to stop for miles and miles and miles, checking our phones, checking our GPS, any maps, anything like that. It's all dialed in there. Yeah, good stuff. Um, love this Polaris wheelbase, it's been amazing car. So. Thanks for getting her all wrapped up, representing the brand. Yeah, car looks pretty. I mean, it's pretty absolutely. much dialed. Is there anything else? I'm sure it never ends. So what's the next thing on deck to... Uh... Well, there's three different things that I want to do, and I just don't know what order they're going to be in. Um, first would be to figure out my storage in the rear, come on up with some sort of storage, what's going to be best for me. I went with the lower spare tire holder from Cageworks, so I need to come up with a different way other than like a Polaris storage box. So that'll be one thing. Um, 
you know, you, I like to have, be prepared and have my tools. Um, not only I feel as though when I carry the tools, it's not going to be for me. It's for other people. As we can attest, we go to the dunes all the time and with a big group usually. That's one of us out there helping wrench and getting people back going. Uh, second thing is I would like to do some more shock work, do a spring kit, maybe some valving, maybe have a, a guru um, go through my shocks and make them really, really dialed and get that all set. It, it rides really well now, but I mean, I have a spring kit on my other car. I know how much better it can be, especially with the technology that we have. Yeah. Um, and then finally, um, those of you guys know me, I, I love lights. I love the amber lights specifically, so I don't got any ambers on it yet. Um, got the Baja D uh, Onyx 40 here, uh, light bar, which we can't really stand in front of it right now because it'll melt our skin off. It's so amazing. This thing lights up for miles. Um, but I want to add some ambers um, to get through the dust and also just it's my little bit of flavor. I think that it'll really look really good, with, especially with the Chupacabra logo being in yellow. I think it'll really pop. I don't know which configuration I'm going to do, if I'm going to do it on the bumper. I've talked about doing the headlights and making those amber. Just something, you know, to spice it up, make it a little bit different, but also be functional, you know, not just to be out there to look cool or whatever. This car will be getting dirty. This car will be muddy. This car will get, see the trees. This car will see all those things um, because we go out and we actually ride these things. Yeah, so I'm excited. Place. So there you go, guys. There's another Razor, different parts, a little bit different flavor than what Andrew and I have chosen our cars. A lot of good stuff. Love the value and the, the styling of the cage works. Um, Toyota tire is really nice. The car turned out amazing. Congrats. And... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the content, please like and subscribe. We've got a lot more coming your way.